I work here at Lewis Gale Hospital Allegheny as an expressive therapist specializing in music therapy and I run a lot of the group therapy programming up on the geriatric psychiatric on the fifth floor. I utilize music as a catalyst to help our psychiatric patients reach their optimum functioning so that they can go home and live a good life and live a life that involves uh, less isolation and being around people. Every patient is different and every need that they have can be slightly different. I would think sometimes it's the hardest part is just developing that therapeutic rapport within the first day so that they feel comfortable enough with me to talk about what their needs are. And if that patient isn't able to communicate what their needs are, then feeling comfortable enough with me so that I can utilize a variety of music therapy techniques to help figure that out. We had a patient came to us with, uh, we had very little background information and we were having difficulty finding individuals who knew her so we could ask questions and, and she wasn't able to answer the questions for one reason or another. She was very retracted and, and isolated into herself. Um, you know, we tried to talk to her and, and you know, she'd kind of back away into a corner and just show that she was really kind of anxious and it really looked like she was nervous talking to us. Um, and she just, she was able to speak, but everything she was talking about was within her own head. She, it's like she didn't realize we were all there. So other patients and I decided to try and do a music therapy group outside of her room. So she still had the safeness of her room and, and we weren't gonna force her to come out or anything, but we set up some chairs and did a circle and, and we just started singing familiar songs or songs that were from a time period between her age of 18 and 35. We just you know, looked up some song books together and, and really found some songs and, and what we found she really resonated with are those oldies but goodies. You know, she'll be coming around the mountain and Que Sera Sera and a Moon River, she actually hummed the melody to and was humming it back to us. And she went from being, not making eye contact with any of us, having this very closed posture, gaze down completely other side of the room to walking across the side of the room, standing in the doorway, which then was a part of our circle. And even though she wasn't necessarily communicating at that time with us, she was looking at all of us and humming along from time to time with the melody. I actually walked up to her, I said, hey, you know, I see that you've been walking around a lot. You know, do you wanna walk around some more? Or do, you want, do you want us to keep singing? And she looked right at me and as clear as day, I said, keep singing. And so we, we sang a bunch of songs that she was able to sing. And after that, I was able to walk around the halls with her and ask her questions about her childhood and what memories the music brought back. And I found out a lot of information about her that I was able to then bring to the nurses and bring to the doctors so that they were able to bring up subjects with her to make her feel comfortable with them so that they can then develop a rapport with her and really just help her with her treatment, help her be on board with taking medication, help her um, understand that and just be more comfortable. And it's that familiarity within the music that really brought her out.